How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle versus Gazero in the UU tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now. And if you want to see more daily Pokemon Wi-Fi battles, then make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out. With that being said, let's jump into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Gazero. So they're going to lead off with the T-Tar. Which is good to know they're going to lead off with Tita. We lead off with Rotom Wash. I figured Rotom Wash was like a good like lead. Um, because I can just Volt Switch on anything. And if they lead with the Mammoth Swine and Hippowdon, I can just Hydro Pump them. So this thing, I definitely want a will o -Wisp straight away. If I can. We go for the will o -Wisp, They stay in. So they're probably going to set up Stealth Rock. And it's probably a defensive, supportive Tyranitar maybe. So let's see what they do with it. Let us see what they do with the Tyranitar. They're going to go for a Smackdown. Okay, Smackdown works. I mean, we're levitating now. So now they can Earthquake us. We're not levitating, sorry, because of SmackDown. So now they can Earthquake us. But was it worth it to get the burn? I don't know whether it was worth it to get the burn or not, to be honest with you. It's, it's one of those things. So now I figured I'll just go for a Hydro Pump because it'll do some decent damage to the T-Tar. does do a lot of damage, which is nice. They go for an EQ, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. Stings quite a bit, actually. A bit too much. That was a crit. Okay, so the SmackDown with the Earthquake play is pretty interesting, to say the least. Um, I don't think it was worth it for the burn, but they might have been thinking we were choice or something like that because Rotom's normally our choice um, nowadays. So let's see what this T-Tar wants to do. So we can't see in, obviously, because we'll lose our Rotom Wash to this thing. Let's go for a Volt Switch and get on out of there. So they withdraw the T-Tar, which is fair enough. What are they going to go into, though? They go into Mammoth Swine to block the incoming Volt Switch. That's a good read on my opponent's part. They obviously saw that we had to switch out, otherwise we'd get KO'd by the Earthquake. So they assume we're going to get to the Volt Switch. That's a really good play, actually. So we get buffed by the Sandstorm, which is unfortunate. But now we can will o -Wisp this Mammoth Swine unless... No, they outspeed us and go for an Earthquake. That is for sure. I'd say our best Pokemon to switch in here is going to be the Scizor. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Scizor because they're probably going to go EQ. But I don't really have the best switches to EQ. Um, I have a Breloom, but if they switch up, they're going to go for an Icicle Crash or they go for a Trailblaze. Oh, no, that's not good. So they're setting up the Trailblaze. Again, that speed on the Mammoth Swine so makes sense. I've seen this set before, I think. I think it's loaded dice. Um, but let's go straight for a BP. I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking Scizor does wonders against that team. Choice Bandit BP cleanly KOs the Mammoth Swine, which is fantastic. And we get some Rocky Helmet Chip as well. So Mammoth Swine does go down to the Scizor. And this is why you don't mess around with Scizor, all right? Scizor is a big threat. Now they bring in Indeedee, which is a really good play. Because that's going to set up the Psychic Terrain, which will obviously block my Bullet Punch. So that's a good play. I'm locked in with, um, with the Choice Band, so I can't switch up my moves. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to switch out. So I'm going to lean into the Rotom here. I think Rotom's a good lead, so I'm going to do that. Switch out my Scizor into the Rotom, like so. Bosch comes in. Good old Bosch. There we are. They go for an Encore. So they were trying to Encore us into Bullet Punch. They didn't know if we were Choice Banded or not, which is good to know, but they don't know we're Choice Banded. Really good to know, that is. So, now... We can just go for a Pain Split if we want to, and we'll Pain Split whatever they want to bring in. So they go for an Expanding Force. Can we take that from here? We can't. Specially Defensive Rotom Wash cannot take an Expanding Force from a Psychic Terrain Boosted in DD Butler form. Definitely not. So um, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we know this thing can't get Mystical Fire anymore, because it used to be able to get Mystical Fire, if I remember rightly. So we can go back into Scizor, and we can now not have to worry about Encore. We can go straight for a U-turn. And just get some massive damage off on something on their team. So they are going to Terrasalize. Please don't be Terrafire with Terror Blast. That'll be awful. That'll be awful if they Terrafire with Terror Blast. The Terror Psychic. So they're going all out for the damage on the Sizzle with the Expanding Force. That's fair enough. Let's see how this plays out for them, though. I don't think it'll play out how they want it to. Sizzle's going to take this like a champ. But it is a very powerful move coming from an Indeedy right now. Oh, wow, that's some really bad damage. So we go for a U-turn, but we are banded, so that should KO. It does KO, and we get the Indeedy out of the way, which is fantastic. So we've lost one Pokemon. They've lost two. We're off to a good start with this game. We're definitely off to a good start with this game, that's for sure. So let's see what we can do here. We'll bring in... What should we bring in? So they've got a Dragalge, Glaceon, Tyranitar, and a Hippowdon. I'd say we could probably bring Breloom in. So I'm going to bring Breloom in, because Bullet Seed hurts everything on that team except from the Glaceon. We can't Mock Punch. Got to remember that. We can't Mock Punch in the Psychic Terrain. Got to remember that. Glaceon comes in. They get a free switch in on whatever we brought in. So no matter what I brought in, they bring in something that would counteract it. So that's fair enough. Now I've got to kind of pick what I do here wisely. I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning towards... Sizzle does so well. I'm leaning towards the Rock Tomb. I think I will go Rock Tomb here. 
They go for a blizzard and they hit without the snow and take out Breloom. I didn't know Glaceon could outspeed Breloom. Glaceon's meant to be slow in it. I guess not slow enough. Not slow enough indeed. So now what do we do? Because it's an ice type, we can't go Braviary because even our Terra can't save us. I guess we go Scizor and close combat. I think that's the way to go forward, so that's what I'm going to do. Now they might be thinking, hey, is he going to forget about the Psychic Terrain? No, I'm not going to forget about the Psychic Terrain. I'm going to go for a close combat instead. And we don't outspeed. They go for a freeze dry. Can we live that? We don't live. The Glaceon's too powerful. Right, I need this I need this Psychic Terrain gone now. So now what do we do? we got to rely on Gengar, I guess. So we go Gengar. I should have gone Gengar anyway and done this. The Indeedy Psychic Terrain will wear off soon. So we've got to make sure we, um, we're ready for that. So... Let's go for a Sludge Bomb first and foremost. Just to get some damage off on this Glaceon. There we go. It's the clean... Wow, 60%. They missed the Blizzard, which is great. And now we go for another Sludge Bomb. They probably go Dragology. They don't. They let the Glaceon go down, which is great for us. With Glaceon out of the way, nothing on the team can really stop... Well, everything on the team can stop Braviary except from the... No, except from the power on Dragology. But uh, Tyranitar comes in, the Gourmet. Lovely job, lovely job. We get the sand up, which is unfortunate. Now we have to switch out. I'm leaning towards Donphan. I am going to go Donphan. Donphan is the way to go here. So Donphan can come in now. And as long as they're not mixed with like Ice Beam or something, we should be golden. So we'll bring Mitchell in, in real quick. There we go. Donphan comes through. They go for a payback, which is going to sting. Not really any... He's not going to do any damage. But we get some Rocky Helmet chip, which is really nice. And then the burn as well. Now that the uh, Psychic Terrain's gone which doesn't really matter now because we lost all our priority mons. They can switch out and they can go into Hippowdon, I'm guessing. Dragalge, I would not switch that in on an EQ right there, but I am, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. You go ahead and you go for that <laughs> Dragalge switch. I'd have gone Hippo, but if Dragalge is the best Pokemon they have to take us on and they don't want to lose the T-Tar or the Hippowdon, then, you know, fair enough. But I would have just sacked off the T-Tar there. Ice Shard comes through, takes out the Dragalge, which is fantastic. Down it goes. Down it goes. Very good, very good. In comes the Hippo. So the Hippo is an interesting one. It could do some work. We can't touch it with this. That's for sure. So I guess we just go for an EQ here. They go for a Sand Tomb, which is interesting. So we can't switch out anymore, which is very interesting. We go. They go for an Earthquake. That's going to do some damage to the Hippo. Just a little bit of chip damage. And then the Sand, sand Tomb damage is going to do a decent bit of chip damage to us. Um, so not really the best situation for us to be in. I'm going to go for another EQ, though. And they go for a Stealth Rocks. They really want to hurt us somehow. <laughs> so they're going to go for the Stealth Rocks. I don't want my Braviary to take the Stealth Rocks damage, but the Braviary isn't required for this game at the moment. What I need to do is I need to switch out. So the Sandstorm does subside, which is great. Sand Tomb, however, is still going on. They may actually win the 1v1 here. They may win the 1v1 here. So I'm going to go for the EQ again. They go for a Protect. So they're going to Protect Sand Tomb Assume set. That's pretty interesting, to be honest with you. I'm enjoying this a bit, a little bit too much. Um, so, 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 so scandalous. Let's go for another EQ this next turn. The Sand Tomb is going to wear off eventually. Surely it will. Can we free from it here? We don't get freed from it here. So we go for an EQ once again. They go for another Sand Tomb, which is going to do some decent chip damage. Takes us down to red. We go for an EQ. This should take them down to red as well. There we go. Sand Tomb does come through once more. But we should be freed this turn, right? We're not. Well, they outspeed us, so we need to go for an Ice Shard here. Ice Shard comes through. Takes out the Hippo, which is fantastic. We live on a sliver of HP, which is awesome. However, we will be taken out by this Tyranitar the next turn, even though it's burned. Tyranitar the Gourmet comes in. Nice and powerful. Gets the Sand up, which is always nice. And then we go for a EQ and hope for the best. They go for an Icy Wind, so they are mixed. Interesting. So... <laughs> Donphan does go down, which is awesome. And now we've got two Pokemon left to deal with this T-Tar. I think the best way to deal with this is going to be the Gengar, personally. So let's go with Gengar. Let's go with Gengar, and we'll just go for a Dazzling Gleam. Should take it out. I didn't need to Terra this game, I just realized. But if we don't need to Terra, we don't need to Terra, you know? So I'm going to go for that Dazzling Gleam. It will take out the T-Tar from there. There we go. As down it goes. And that's going to be the game. So GG Gazero, that was a pretty fun one. Um, you had some really interesting sets, to say the least. Uh, but yeah, GG. That was a fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.